Good morning. Welcome to Monday Ritzene with Well Life Inc. My name is Deborah Toka and I am an intern counseling psychologist. Today I'm going to be talking to you about mental health amongst youth uh, with a focus on the transition into adulthood because that's um, the phase, that's what they're dealing with. Uh, they're transitioning um, from adolescence, childhood into adulthood. So um, if we look at um, research to Today, it indicates that uh, versus in the past, um, more youth or majority of our youth um, has mental health challenges, and this may include depression and anxiety. Um, so the question would be, where are these stemming from, or what causes these mental health challenges? Because it's a prevalent uh, thing in today's society. So we will be looking at the causes, which uh, the first one would be the economic ch uh, changes that come with the transition into adulthood uh, or, and also the social, uh, the pressure from social media that is very, very much um, a topic in today's society. So uh, going back to economic changes, um, we can look at things such as unemployment, um, losses of jobs, especially after um, COVID and also um, the changes in roles that happen um, when one transitions into adulthood. Um, you would look at things like Previously, when you were still in school, your parents would take care of you financially, you'd have that financial support. Uh, but now, when you are transitioning now into adulthood, there is that change in role where um, your parents no longer give you that financial support or rather, in some families then um, you are looked at as the breadwinner or as someone who is responsible of um, bringing the bread home so in such cases where now there's um, a lack of employment or um, losses in employment it can become quite an anxiety provoking um, stage in life where you don't have enough to provide for your family or you don't have enough to support yourself but because um, um, now of the decrease in the support from family, you have to make uh, means to, to come up with ways to provide for yourself. So that's where the uh, mental health challenges come in or where they stem from in this regard. And then we also have social media pressure where the, um, when we look at um, the social media platforms, we see the people that we are following um, portray this perfect life analogy um, of which I would say it's socially constructed. Everyone can define their own perfect life. Um, so in that regard, according to social media platforms, then it would be having a car, um, the latest models, um, having a, an apartment or a house, um, being in a relationship or being married, and all that um, happening before a certain age which mostly is um, looked at at the age of 30 people aspire to have all that by the age of 30 so that also can um, make someone feel depressed or anxious as they are approaching that age and they haven't reached those goals or they haven't acquired all those things you know so it can become quite a daunting uh, period in life but also after looking Looking at the causes, I would also say that maybe we can also look at the tools to uh, curb that or to decrease that from affecting us. For example, um, with regards to economic challenges that we may face, um, you can look at the way you started as a person versus uh, or rather instead of focusing on where the other person is or what they're doing um, to um, allow yourself to be in your process and in your journey and to be aware of your journey because we have different journeys we don't start at the same points in life we don't have the same privileges some people um, have went through education through loans and as soon as they start working they have to pay repay those loans that's where they're, um, they're starting others had the privileges of having parents who can pay for their fees or uh, bursaries who were able that were 
were able to pay for their fees. So we are not starting at the same uh, point. In that way, we are not moving at the same pace because if the other one is two steps ahead, you are two steps behind and you're trying to keep up. So you need to be aware of your process and your journey and to um, work from that as your basis. Because um, if one person is able to buy uh, the latest model of a Mercedes-Benz or whatever car you are looking to buy, um, it's because they can afford that and it's because they don't have other payments to do uh, but you still have to pay the loan and then at home also they are looking up to you for you know provision of food um, housing and stuff like that so that's where um, we focus on where did you where are you beginning what's your process what does your journey look like and um, we also look at where are you in your career? Where are you financially at the moment? I mean, it's 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 not um, realistic to compare yourself as an intern with someone who has been working maybe for ten years. What they drive, what where they live, what type of clothing they wear. Um, that can also be something that you look at um, when you are weighing, because especially with social media now, we are exposed to many different. Uh, people with many different backgrounds with many different sources of income so uh, but what we see are just snippets of their lives we don't actually see their the real um, life uh, journeys that they go through so it is important to keep that also in mind that social media only shows us snippets of people's lives and not actually their li their day-to-day -day lives so um, I decide or I control what I show um, to people on my media space so um that's that that are so, some of the tools that we can use um, to to kind of control or avoid us getting sipping into um, those mental health challenges that may come with social media and um, um, financial or rather economic changes in our lives so um, yeah Thank you for watching this episode. Um, see you on the next one. Bye.